What's up guys? It's Mike here, and I'm back with another Steam Deck guide. The Steam Deck is undeniably one of the most versatile handheld gaming devices to hit the market in recent years. It's powerful, portable, and offers an impressive gaming experience that has captured the hearts of many gamers. But like any sophisticated piece of technology, navigating its features efficiently can sometimes be a bit tricky. Whether you're diving into menus, adjusting settings, or just trying to manage your game library, the Steam Deck's interface can occasionally feel like it's working against you rather than with you. Thankfully, Valve has packed in a series of shortcuts that make life a whole lot easier, and once you get the hang of them, you'll wonder how you ever got by without them. Steam Deck shortcuts are the key to unlocking the device's full potential. These handy combinations can help you adjust screen brightness, force quit unresponsive games, take screenshots, and much more, all without needing to dig through layers of menus. In this guide, we'll walk you through every Steam Deck shortcut available in both game mode and desktop mode, and we'll even show you how to create custom shortcuts that suit your specific needs. If you're as excited as we are about today's topic, show some love by liking and subscribing to Retro Pocket for more amazing content. Game Mode Shortcuts Streamline Your Gaming Experience Let's start by diving into Game Mode, the default mode you'll be in when playing your games. Game Mode is designed to put your gaming experience front and center, but that doesn't mean it's immune to hiccups or moments when you need to access other features quickly. That's where these shortcuts come in. The Steam button, often referred to as the Quick Access button, is your gateway to most of these shortcuts. It's located on the left side of the device and is marked with the Steam logo. To access many of the shortcuts, you'll need to hold down the Steam button while pressing other buttons. It's a simple setup, but it opens up a world of possibilities. One of the most useful shortcuts is the ability to force quit a game. We've all been there. You're deep into a session and suddenly the game freezes. Normally, this would mean navigating back to the main menu or even restarting your device, but with the Steam Deck, all you need to do is hold the Steam button and press B. This will immediately shut down the game, saving you the hassle of a full restart. Another essential shortcut is bringing up the on-screen keyboard. This comes in handy more often than you might think, whether you're entering a character's name, searching for a game, or logging into an online service. By pressing the Steam button and X, you can summon the keyboard at any time, making text input a breeze. For those moments when the text is just too small to read comfortably, there's a built-in magnifier tool. This is especially useful for older games or complex RPGs where the dialogue and menus might be a bit tiny. By pressing the Steam button in L1, you can activate the magnifier and zoom in on any part of the screen. It's a simple yet powerful tool that can make a big difference in your gaming experience. Taking screenshots on the Steam Deck is also incredibly easy. Whether you want to capture a stunning in-game moment or just save a funny glitch for posterity, all you need to do is press the Steam button in R1. The screenshot is taken instantly with no lag and is saved to your gallery ready to be shared or reviewed later. But what about controlling screen brightness? Rather than navigating through the settings menu every time you want to make an adjustment, the Steam Deck allows you to do this on the fly. By holding the Steam button and moving the left analog stick up or down, you can increase or decrease the screen brightness, respectively. This is particularly useful when moving between different lighting environments, such as going from indoors to outdoors. If you're using your Steam Deck to play games that require mouse input, Valve has you covered there too. The right analog stick can be used as a mouse when combined with the Steam button and the right touchpad can do the same. Additionally, you can simulate left and right mouse clicks by pressing the Steam button in combination with R2 and L2, respectively. This makes navigating in-game menus or even playing certain types of games much more intuitive. For those who need to access specific keyboard functions while in game mode, the D-pad offers a range of options. For example, pressing the Steam button and right on the D-pad simulates pressing the Enter key, while pressing down on the D-pad simulates the Tab key. These shortcuts might seem small, but they can be incredibly useful, especially in games where quick keyboard access is crucial. Desktop mode shortcuts power at your fingertips. While game mode is where most of the action happens, Steam Deck also offers a desktop mode that transforms the device into a full-fledged 
PC. In desktop mode, the Steam Deck's controls take on new roles, simulating a keyboard and mouse setup. This makes navigating the Linux-based desktop environment much easier and opens up a whole new set of possibilities for productivity and gaming. In desktop mode, the right touchpad acts as your primary mouse, allowing you to move the cursor across the screen with precision. To left-click, you simply press down on the right touchpad, just like you would with a traditional mouse. For right-clicking, the L2 trigger comes into play, making it easy to access context menus and additional options. One of the most useful shortcuts in desktop mode is the ability to scroll using the left touchpad. By swiping up or down, you can scroll vertically through documents, web pages, or lists. Additionally, you can use the left touchpad to scroll horizontally, which is particularly useful when working with spreadsheets or wide documents. For those who frequently use the middle mouse button, whether for opening links in new tabs, closing tabs, or other tasks, the left touchpad has got you covered. By pressing down on the left touchpad, you can simulate a middle mouse click, giving you even more control over your desktop environment. The right analog stick also serves as a mouse in desktop mode. Though it's not quite as precise as the touchpad, still it's a handy option for those who prefer using the stick over the touchpad for certain tasks. Pressing the right analog stick also simulates a left mouse click, offering another way to interact with your desktop. For keyboard functionality, the Steam Deck's buttons are mapped to some of the most commonly used keys. The Y button acts as the space bar, while the B button serves as the escape key. The A button simulates the return key, and the X button brings up the on-screen keyboard, making text input quick and easy. The shoulder buttons and paddles on the back of the Steam Deck also have specific functions in desktop mode. The upper left paddle button simulates the left shift key, while the lower left paddle button acts as the Windows key, or super key. The upper right paddle button scrolls the page up, and the lower right paddle button scrolls down. These shortcuts make it easy to navigate through documents and web pages without having to constantly reach for the keyboard. Customizing your Steam Deck experience one of the most powerful features of the Steam Deck is the ability to customize shortcuts to suit your personal needs. While the default shortcuts are incredibly useful, there may be specific tasks or applications that you want quick access to. Fortunately, Steam Deck makes it easy to remap buttons and create custom shortcuts in desktop mode. To start customizing your Steam Deck, open the Steam app and navigate to the Settings menu. From there, click on the Controller tab and select Desktop Layout. This will bring up a menu where you can remap each button on the Steam Deck, assigning any keyboard or mouse function you desire. Whether you want to create a shortcut for opening your favorite app, adjusting system settings, or executing a specific command, the possibilities are nearly endless. In addition to remapping buttons, you can also create custom keyboard shortcuts that allow you to perform various actions in desktop mode with just a few button presses. For example, you can create a shortcut to open Steam, the Dolphin File Manager, or any other app you have installed. To do this, open the Quick Settings menu and click on the Shortcuts tab. From here, you can assign a custom keyboard shortcut to open any installed app, making it easy to access your most used programs. But the customization doesn't stop there. You can also create shortcuts for system functions such as adjusting volume, powering down the device, or putting it into hibernate mode. These custom shortcuts can significantly streamline your workflow and make using the Steam Deck even more intuitive. Maximizing your Steam Deck potential. The Steam Deck is an incredible piece of hardware that offers a near limitless range of possibilities for gaming and productivity. By mastering the built-in shortcuts and creating your own custom shortcuts, you can unlock the full potential of this versatile device. Whether you're navigating game mode or diving into desktop mode, these shortcuts make the Steam Deck easier and more enjoyable to use. As you become more familiar with these shortcuts, you'll find that they save you time, reduce frustration, and allow you to focus more on what you love, gaming. And with the ability to customize and create your own shortcuts, the Steam Deck becomes not just a handheld gaming device, but a powerful tool tailored to your specific needs. So dive in, experiment with the shortcuts, and make your Steam Deck truly your own. I'm sure mastering these shortcuts will elevate your Steam Deck experience to new heights.
If you enjoyed this deep dive into Steam Deck shortcuts, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe for more tips, tricks, and guides on getting the most out of your gaming devices. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming!